God bless. But honestly, the biggest thing that made me change was reading the Bible and studying Christianity. Oh, the classic. <laughs> reading the Bible made me an atheist. It's sad how the tables have turned. I used to watch you when you were a Christian TikToker. And now, as a Christian TikToker, I have to refute you. I mean, that's a very drastic wow. change. So you must have good reasons, right? It's looking at how it was created, the fact that Jesus' life wasn't even documented until 40 years after he left Earth. The creed in 1 Corinthians 15 is dated within three years of Jesus' death. We have good reason to believe the pre mark Passion is within 10 years after Jesus' death. The no. Pauline epistles are dated within 25 years after Jesus' death. And then the Gospels, like you said, are dated around 40 years. And even a 40-year time span is like gold in ancient historicity. Most documents around that time are hundreds of years yes. apart from the yeah. actual event. On top of that, well, we have good reason to trust the Gospels are reliable because of things like naming patterns, geographical knowledge, the attestation of the Church Fathers, and undesigned coincidence. Boom. You get into the verses that talk about slavery, God literally said... Firstly, slavery was much different back then from what it is today. <laughs> okay, well, I'm finished, bro. Okay. Okay, I know you're, you're you know, you have to uh, explain yourself, but let, let the guy finish, bro, so we can, you know, have a little bit of context. Or I guess I'm gonna have to watch the full video to find out, but... They let him God's regulation was revolutionary for the time. They didn't even have rights. Secondly, this was God's revelation to a specific context. It was in God's wisdom and progressive revelation that he did that during that time. It's a very complicated topic, but even granting that it was wrong for God to do that, what follows? The only thing that follows is that God did not command that, not that Christianity is false. Pre-determining where someone's gonna go. The Calvinist would probably retort, by what standard do you judge God? But Calvinism is not Christianity. I don't know why you're bringing mm. this up. I don't think free will's <laughs> fair either. Someone what does this even mean? We're so much better without free will. I want to be a robot. Yeah! I just grew up in India. Never even knew about it. They die, they're going to hell for each- Firstly, how do you know God didn't providentially order the world in this way because he knew that kid would never come to Christ under any circumstance? Secondly, how do you know he is in hell? There's a view that maybe he responded to general <laughs> oh, revelation. Hey, hey. That's true. How does he know he's in hell, bro? As far as I know, salvation is not because of what you do. Okay, it's not because of you or because of who you are. It's because of God's grace. Okay, so how about how that's that's crazy to actually think. How about actually God forgave all of them because they never heard of Christ, right? I mean, it's not that crazy when you think about it. Man, relation. There are also different views of hell and Christianity. So again, this is not an argument against Christianity, so I have no clue why you left it. Is God just running some social experiment on us? <laughs> oh my god. For his own benefit. He's of infinite value, so he doesn't need anything. His only motivation to create would be for the benefit of the creature. It's quite remarkable if you think about it. Worship me? And even then, that seems kind of like a prideful thing to do. Again, God does not need our worship. He's not insecure. No. He's the highest good. But necessarily, Yo, it would be God has every right to do whatever he wills, okay? That's it, bro. Good or bad, it is what it is. Take it or leave it, bro. But it is what it is. No, not take it or leave it. Whether you like it or not, that's what's up, bro. Not all of us like that, but it's God's will, man. We're His. We're His creation. Now and forever. <laughs> it be wrong for God to direct His will for us towards something other than Himself. I have sound entire civilizations. <laughs> and even then, He floods the whole earth. God is the author of life. We are dependent on him. Suppose I start giving you $20 every day, and then I stop. You cannot object that it was wrong for me to do that, because it was a gift. In the same way, God gives you life every day, and it's a gift. But God, as the unique author of life, can stop giving that gift whenever he wants. That's why it's not wrong for God to flood the earth when there is no more good on the earth. And again, even oh granted God. that it is wrong, it does not follow that Jesus did not rise from the dead, or that God does not exist. You still have good reason to believe Jesus rose from the dead, and good reason to believe that God exists. You have given no good reasons to abandon Christianity. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's it. Amen. All you've done today is expose your ignorance, the philosophy of <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> bro, chill. Hey, chill out, bro. Oh my god. And look at the comments, bro. Just out of curiosity, what do you identify now as? I uh, struggle a lot with this. Well, oh my god. Bro. You say there are many more reasons. Let's discuss it on live. Everyone add him in the comments.